This is the uh, sequence where I fight Destiny's child, yes. Kelly Rowland. Yes. And they, she had the number one hit in the world with Nelly. Yeah. She had to fly back from doing Top of the Pops in London. And she flew from London to Vancouver, shot, started shooting at midnight. She had a half a page monologue. She nailed it on the second take. Oh, wow. You know, she's such a little pro, yeah. This is right after you call her Dark Moon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been watching your movies since I was six. Do you have a favorite movie out of the franchise? I like uh, Part 7. Me too. That's my favorite. New Which Nightmare. Yeah. yeah. It becomes real. Well, we all got to make fun of ourselves. We got to de we got to acknowledge the audience and the fans. And for me, it was great because just by accident and scheduling, I would get finished by like 11 or 12 or 1 every day. I'd be up at 4 in the morning, but I'd be taking the makeup off, and I'd go out, get that free meal. There's yeah. lunch for everybody. And I start, and, and John Saxon was there, and I would have lunch every day with John Saxon, and he would tell me Bruce Lee stories, Elvis Presley stories, Audrey Hepburn stories. He dated Natalie Wood and Sandra D. He got in a fight with Burt Lancaster. He worked for John Huston. He worked for Quentin Tarantino. He did Robert Redford's first movie. He did one of Robert Redford's uh, directorial movies, Electric Horseman. The Jane Fonda, he, he all these great stories, you know, and working in Hong Kong and how the studios made them date certain actresses, you know, back then because the actresses were were you know dating a bad boy. They had to like you know all this stuff that the, how the studios used to protect them, you know. The Marlon Brando stories. He starred with Marlon Brando in a movie called The Appaloosa. He starred with Clint Eastwood in a movie. He starred with Robert Duvall in a movie. He had Western stories about working with Eastwood and Duvall and, and Brando. With Brando for six months in Santa Fe, New Mexico in the early 60s. You know, That's cool. What that must have been like. Yeah, that must have been awesome. Yeah. Makes you feel like you're born too late. Then he told me about the movies he did in Europe. And he's one of the people that encouraged me to work in Europe a lot, which I do. Yeah. But it's so much fun. I read recently that he did a prequel screenplay. Yeah, I don't know if that's true or internet shit, you know. Um, <laughs> don't believe everything you read on the on internet. <laughs> it's like 50% of that stuff's not true, you know. Somebody has, you know. They're toting it on eBay. Yeah. I wrote a script for part three really? for Dream Warriors, and it was I used the character of Tina, who died in part one. My script was she had an older sister in college who was sort of like a feminist Nancy Drew who wanted to get to the bottom of her sister's death. Oh, wow. And she's researching it like a college student would, trying to solve the mystery of Tina's death. And it's the whole backstory she discovers on microfiche. You know, in the libraries, that would have been really cool. she discovers the whole backstory on Freddy. So it becomes the prequel. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and you find out why he got off, how Freddy got away with it. Yeah. The and those are the great characters, the lawyers who got Freddy off. <laughs> 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 well, parts of my script have showed up in other movies, but it, as, as they didn't go with the idea of the. I, I like the idea of getting an older girl. They still they wanted Heather back mm. for part three. They had to get Heather in part three because she by then they realized just how popular she was. You know, she's really a symbol for a whole generation, uh, and she's a symbol. You know, they ripped Heather's look and performance off 
what a million other actors have since then because she was the girl next door, you know, the strong girl next door. You know. And a scream queen. Cool. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you.